Hey everybody, Dr. Plasma here. Mocha Barista, yesterday you asked this on my fairy ring video. Would you make a tutorial for making someone take damage in water? The short answer is check the block the player standing in. That's easy. I want to show you how to take damage in rain too, but first you have to know how to detect rain. So this is a copy of Ion Mango's rain detector, and I give full credit, links in the description, but I'm going to show you how to do this because you need to know how to do this in order to do this rain detection and do damage for the next video. So what you're going to do is we're going to use a skulk sensor. So this exists in 118. You, all you have to do is give your name skulk sensor. And see, now I have another one. but no, I don't need that one, but this is going to be what you need to build this. In addition, you're going to need a bit of wool, and you're going to need some way to get a wolf. And so what we're going to do is we are going to place a sticky piston like this that it will power whenever there's a noise. You see that? What we're going to do is we're going to block the noise so that a wolf shakes off the rain and that will cause it to trigger it. So you ready? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put a block here like this and we're going to put a piston like that and now you see how it pushes that? And so now it's going to push and pull that every time there's a sound. Isn't that neat? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make an observer stack like this where they go back and forth. And we're going to cause this to send a signal to that block that breaks it so that it stops flickering. And so what we're going to do, so you'll notice that every time it changes, it's going to continue to do it again. So I'm going to put a repeater here for four ticks. I'm going to put a, another observer right here that it feeds into it like this. And we're going to put a dispenser right here. What we're going to do is we're going to put powder snow bucket so let's say I'm a wolf and I it starts raining. This is going to be above me, and then it it's not going to be above me, so I get wet. And then it's going to be above me so that I shake off the water. And so what's going to happen, there's going to be a noise, and it's going to stop. That's all there really is to this build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wolf right here. I'm going to put another block right here. We're going to go summon wolf. And there he is. And so now that should be all there is to it. So when I go slash weather rain, that happens and causes it to fire once. And when it clears up, it causes it to pull it up again. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ensure that this skulk block doesn't trigger when we don't want it to trigger. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to completely block it off on all sides, like so, but we're going to let the wolf trigger it. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to do this all the way across. And we're gonna cover the whole thing up with wool but it can pass through these blocks if it heads straight to the wolf. And so now, having it so that it can only travel from that direction, now we can make whatever noise we want and we don't have any problems. Hope that was helpful. Now you know how to detect rain. Stay tuned for the next video for part two. I'm gonna put it right here. And I will show you in that video how to take damage when you touch water and how to take damage when you're standing in the rain. Have a good rest of your day. Hope you're excited for that. Bye.